Good morning. <clears throat> How you doing? Nice to see you again, and thanks for uh, watching. I mean, you keep coming back. I don't know why. You keep clicking like and putting in comments, don't you? And I think, well, I've got to do another one. <laughs> Thank you for uh, continuing to watch and give me feedback. Um, so yeah, there's um, things going on now. Uh, I had my performance review last week, and and it was a good one. And I thought, okay. It gave me confidence, it gave me reassurance, uh, it helped me to think clearly, and I've come up with, you know, not just some new ideas uh, where I am, um, but externally as well. And over the weekend, it just started to flow, and I've already had that. I mean, it's a good time of year, January is a great time of year, where we're all kind of skint after sp spending all our money in family and friends at Christmas, uh, the right thing to do. Um, and uh, you'll get some more time on your hands while the, the weather's rubbish and you, you're not going out as much. So um, I always use this time anyway. And and the fact that it's my birthday and in January and I'm, I'm a Capricorn and we are traditionally uh, um, ambitious folks. And I'm just a busy person, as you know. I'm always thinking of something, always coming up with a new idea. And uh, so, yeah, there's a, uh, so I've decided, <laughs> now, I don't know whether it's this year, but almost like a, on a bucket list, um, I want to do a short film, I want to do a documentary, and I want to do a feature film. It's a lot to handle in one year, however, the short film, 10 minutes, um, one of my colleagues who runs uh, Raindance Film Festival and the British Institute uh, Film British Industry Film Awards. He's done really well. Elliot Grove, his name is, is a Canadian guy. Anyway, he put up, uh, what's stopping you making a film? And I thought, oh, yeah, it was, a good, it was a good article. And he was basically talking about this 14-year-old daughter of his friend um, who basically just done it on her own. And if she can do it, why are you not doing it? So I thought, yeah, right enough. And it's something I've been asking, I've been thinking about for a while. But, you know, things get put off because you can't get the people to help you or it costs too much money but i'm now just going to do it so i spoke to my colleague at the weekend and he's a writer um or has you know he's not a writer but he well, i've worked with him on uh, two plays before and uh, one of them he wrote and he got an award for so um uh, i'm now thinking of working with him on the short film <clears throat> and i suggest something to do with maybe mental health um, because that would be good from a you know they get to get it seen you know in terms of you know supporting a charity and the charity would be interested in making sure it gets uh, done and therefore there's a bit of a uh, a goal if you like of actually creating that that uh, short film um they didn't like the storyline i suggested um and uh more because of uh the age you know i said there was a uh, basically sort of a 22 year old guy who's in having uh, issues with his life and he said, no, young people are <laughs> terrible to work with on films, he said. <laughs> I'm not sure where he get back that bad experience. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I thought the the, the opposite. Um, however, he's the writer, so he's going to write something uh, that might be suitable for that. And then we'll go on and make it. I've got three cameras. You know, if we can't afford to get anybody or nobody wants to join me, if, you know, to support it and, and get it done free. Um, then we, and, and we might go to, to Kickstarter. That, that was the other thing I was thinking of, is going to Kickstarter and say, look, I'm going to do this film and, and you know, get a couple of... I mean, it's not a lot of money to make a 10-minute film. You could probably do it in less than a thousand pound. Um, thinking of, you know, like f three or four days' work at most. Um, and, uh, you know, camera guy, sound, lighting, three, an editor, four people at uh, maybe £200 a day um, and uh, so that's, you know, 800 times 4 is 3,000. 3, okay, it's a little bit more than a grand <laughs> to the what's out. So therefore you have to actually reduce the time or um, try and get support to people who just want to get it done and maybe uh, get their, get off for their showreel or for them to be part of the process. You know, sometimes you get that. Anyway, the next one is a documentary. Now, I, I want to do one about cybersecurity called the Cybersecurity Conversation because we don't talk about it enough. Um, 
but then when I, you know, and I'm, you know, I see my co my friend as a, a storyteller. He is a good storyteller, um, and uh, and he didn't see well. Yeah, he, he thought he liked the story, uh, but how would you represent that? Um, what you know, he said? Would you have you know digital screens coming down and all that? And I thought you're yeah, right enough. How do you make cybersecurity interesting to have that conversation? So um, and I remember my first documentary I did. Uh, it was just serendipity. I didn't mean to go out to make a documentary. I just went out and I thought, oh, I'll take my camera with me. Oh, why don't I go there? And I've basically followed, you know, um, uh, my my own journey. And it might be something like that. Maybe it's just uh, it's serendipity. Someone might contact me as a result of this. I might go to the UK Cyber Network and find out people in there. I've actually got a story to tell. Um, and we get that conversation going because, you know, too often we kind of keep it quiet and we don't know what's going wrong. And, for example, the Royal Mail, um, that's a story to tell, isn't it? Uh, it's, it? You know, and it's evolving. I'd love to get in amongst that and actually tell their story and, and find, you know, but then it's all, a lot of it is secret and private and uh, so you can't necessarily get to the root cause of it. So, um, but that might be a challenge as well. Anyway, that's a, that one. And then the uh, feature film, of course, uh, you know, I, I wrote a part on it for a, an older Scottish guy living in London. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, the synopsis is basically, he's an immunologist um, and there's an, another outbreak similar to COVID. Um, and it's up to the immunologist to, you know, fight the fight in London. But there's a lot of politics around it and trying to get to, you know the the root cause of it and and resolving is is where the the, the conflict is and um, so he liked that one so yeah that might evolve into something so we'll see. Um, the other thing I'm doing is uh, oh yeah I've got a call over the weekend uh, uh, from one of my clients who's now on a spending spree buying property and things like that and he's now uh, looking at the yacht so I think uh, that's looking. Uh, uh, like uh, something uh, that will move forward, well, let's hope for this year, um, and that would end up funding all the film anyway. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll, we'll try and one step at a time. Um, and uh, in the meantime, I'm, um, I've got a few more ideas on the uh, website front. So, I've, uh, you know, I was basically getting uh, it was costing me too much. Like every website on Squarespace was twelve quid. So I've now found another way of doing it, which is basically, yeah, I'm paying eight quid a month for five websites. So it's a little bit better um, <laughs> rather than 60 quid a month, I'm, I'm now paying eight pound. However, it's WordPress rather than Squarespace. Squarespace, you know, it's good. Um, you know, you've just, you're basically, you know, you're, there's no code involved, well, very little code. Um, but it's got limitations in that, you know, you have to spend more like 50 quid a month to get some of the script language change and all that, so um, there's you know, it has limitations there. But WordPress, um, obviously, grab a template and then you know customize some of the images, and you you know, give it something similar to a Squarespace. But the advantage of WordPress is you, you can do a lot more PHP and things like that to to uh, make your site look a bit more um, interactive and to add a bit more, you know, I don't know, like financial calculators um, that I'm thinking of, um, you know, APIs that you can write. Um, I had someone uh, helping me do that before, but it just took so long, you, you know, he was India based and, and it, you know, it was good when he delivered, but didn't deliver often. And then, you know, it sort of, I lost my, you know, sort of, uh, competitive advantage of you say if you like you know in other words the ideas were good at the time but actually um, if you're not going to deliver to it then the ideas are gone uh, so yeah so I'm, I'm, I, I mostly uh, I do things on platforms or white labels and uh, so I've got a new white label which is good on the travel front which kind of links to the yacht. So if you're going to buy, you know, sort of looking at yachts, you might you might be looking for a flight to get to the yacht, or you might be wanting to stay in a hotel while you're there. Um, so I'm I'm looking at a white label, and uh, now I need to customise that, and it's it's quite a good one. And um, but now I need to get the front end to that. It's a bookings um, back end engine, so I'll do the front end so that it looks seamless. 
um, and then they, they obviously it's a Spanish company and they deal with um, the other processing and you know the uh, the, the, the travel authority part of it um, so I'm just really you know sort of introducing the customers which is kind of a space I like rather than you know getting on, on you know doing all the fulfillment which is you know you've got to be you've got to put a lot of effort into that as well um, and I also use uh, Mighty Networks which some people have seen which is um, effectively an app and a web platform um, that allows you to you know have communities going and then you tailor that towards and, and you know put a custom url in um so you redirect people based on your topic you know film theater um, yachts or cyber security so i've got a few of them going um and, but i want to get some front ends to them that tell the story better because again those are those are limited in terms of their um uh the way they, they allow you to customize it and again they're not they're not cheap you know they're 30 quid a, a month as well so you know the the more open it is um that it costs you nothing you know it's the more public it is but if you then want to do a little bit more feature it then becomes 30 quid a month so t to reduce that again eight pound one five websites bang you know it helps to reduce that month cost because most some of them earn some money um, but most of them are, you know, me giving my time and energy back into that particular topic, um, you know, to hopefully have a, you know, uh, you know, the more you, the more you reach out there in terms of social media and little videos like this, um, you know, the more people actually, you know, connect and engage with whatever it is you're you're on about, so they get the story better. Um, so it's always kind of good. That's why we're we're influencers of. Have evolved from is basically doing, you know, just the um, uh, the speaking part of, um, you know, on YouTube and TikTok and uh, various platforms that they, they continue to do that to to build up the and, and say hey, have you seen this pen? You know, it's a pink one. <laughs> it's actually got free. here sell this pen. <laughs> Where have I seen that from? Uh, yeah, that was uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Um, the guy who he done some. Uh, it wasn't on that film, I think it was, here's all this pen, <laughs> it was Leonardo DiCaprio, um, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Paperly, paper.li is quite a good one as well, another platform that basically allows you to create an online magazine, um, and I've been doing that for a while, and you get subscribers to it free, um, again that's about £17 a month, you know, so you got to, but that's only if you want to brand it and have your own website um, you know, aligned to it like a dot news website and uh so you know the the paper dot lie is good from ga to gather people into your community and then send them regular daily newsletters um, and then you can feed them with your particular brand uh, in there as well so most of the time i don't really create i don't really um uh, code um i more sort of collaborate and build based on other platforms and uh um and, and other you know, white label um so that uh, and i create that from, from there and into a front end so that's what i'm doing and uh i've started that process i had a few technical difficulties which they fixed for me this morning so um i'm looking forward to that anyway um apart from that i uh, hope everything's going well with you i noticed one of my colleagues um uh, pete uh, and uh, I'll well, maybe see if I can find the the email. But he's, I, I used to we used to jam together, or rather, he jams all the time. You know, in terms of um, you know playing, he plays a lot uh, um, music, and uh, he's a drummer uh, for a band. And I remember you know way back uh, when I was up in Edinburgh, um, you know, he said, "Oh, why did you come along and sing?" And, and we sang some Who songs in the studio. And that was that was quite good, good fun. And uh, and then he got me saying, "Why did you come along to this uh, beer festival we're doing? And you can sing up there." Oh my goodness, you know, the nerves. I was so nervous just for one song. It was only you know just one song and then out, and it was uh, an Eric Clapton song, and uh, I was so nervous. I don't even don't even know how I came across, you know. <laughs> but I was glad it was over, and I thought. Oh, that's not. I was more nervous than normal. More ner more nervous than going on stage for some reason. Um, but uh, maybe I wasn't prepared, or I don't know. Yeah. Uh, um, but but uh, it was a good experience anyway. 
Uh, and Pete's got something coming up in the Voodoo, I think, Voodoo Rooms in Edinburgh. Uh, and I want to give him a big plug because, you know, you should go and see him. Alrighty, have a great day.